subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wase here and in this video i am going to show you how you can install a compiler uh, that is a swift compiler for windows so let's begin so first of all you are going to go to the website named swift for windows the website link will be in the video description you are going to press on download currently the version is 2.0 once you have downloaded it, it will look something like this. You are going to right click on it and you are going to run it as an administrator. Setup next. I agree. The location C install. Uh, this compiler will allow you to use Swift programming language on Windows because you know that you cannot use Swift programming language on Windows you need to have a mac for this purpose it is completed and here it says run swift for windows 2.0 finish so in this software you cannot build the apps but you can basically use the logic and you can clear the basic syntax for swift so here it says select a file so first of all we are going to make a file meaning the actual code that we want to run on the compiler we are going to right click on the desktop new and text document and I'm just going to name it code you can name it anything you want and now in this text document I am going to write the uh, Swift code for example where a equal to read line this will take an input from the user to the and assign it to the variable a and I'm going to print whatever I have taken from the user with a message as well like your name is and print a meaning whatever the user has input so you're going to write press on file and you're going to press on save as so here it says text document you're going to press on all files and if you see on swift when you're going to press on select file it will ask for a format that is dot swift or dot json so what we are going to do that we are going to uh, uh, give an extension to the file name basically file name was code we are going to uh, add a dot and swift this will give a, a swift extension that will then this code will be able to run on the swift compiler the desktop you can save it wherever you want here it is you can see code okay we are going to select a file the one we have just created here it is code open first we are going to compile it here it says successfully compiled now we are going to press on run and we are now going to enter any input like my name wase press enter and here it says your name is optional wase uh, anyways this is how you can use the swift coding on a swift compiler uh, another example can be where a equal to 10 where b equal to 20 and where c equal to a plus b print c you are going to again press on save as dot swift I am just going to override the previous file save yes you have to compile it again because I have changed the code inside it compile successfully compiled and I am going to press on run and here is the result 30 so basically if you want to learn a swift programming language as a beginner then you can use this method for windows but if you want to build the ios apps or the iOS uh, operating system of macs then you definitely need to buy a mac or you can use the alternative that i have shown that you can use a virtual mac operating system on your windows and you can do advanced programming on that I have made a video on that a box should appear up right now and the link of the video will also be in the video's description if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions write them in the comment section below and thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel